Let's get into play mode. It's hashtag Transformation Tuesday, the day when people on Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook, they share their stories of health and fitness success. One of those people is Mary Maxwell. Mary documents how she lost an impressive 165 pounds and She's keeping it off. There are a lot of people out there like Mary who have experienced similar successes, but not many can say they have 54,000 Instagram followers. Mary's Instagram page is honest, it's vulnerable, and it encourages people, which seems to be a huge draw for her followers. Take a look. <sighs> Holy moly, I just finished uh, my first T25 workout. Um, I didn't want to work out today after working for 12 hours, but... I did it and I feel so much better. Go work out, you'll love yourself. And Mary Maxwell is joining us now via Skype. Mary, thanks so much for being here. In 2010, you weighed 315 pounds at the age of 19, but then you had gastric bypass surgery. Why'd you decide to get that surgery? Um, I was just ready to be healthy. I've been overweight my whole entire life. Um, I'd been bullied from it. Um, my story is kind of unusual. Um, when I was younger, my father passed away of cancer when my mom was six months pregnant with me, so before I was born. Um, my mother then died of a massive heart attack when she was in her 30s, and I was two years old. Um, so obesity has run rampant in my family ever since I can remember, and her sister died at 26 of a heart attack. So wow. I knew that if I didn't do something, then I would be the next one. So I took control, and decided it was time for a change. You know, on Instagram, you actually say that there's no magic pill, there's no magic solution. Even though you got gastric by bypass, some people out there are thinking, well, she got gastric bypass, there she goes, she lost all her weight. But it's not that easy, yeah. and you had some complications after surgery. Yeah, I actually almost lost my life because of my surgery. Um, I, much like many people, didn't want to have the surgery because I thought it was the easy way out. Mm -hmm. And um, people get judged a lot for having weight loss surgery. Um, but people don't realize the severe complications that you can have. And I did not think that I would be one of those people who would suffer the, you know, the complications. And in nine months, I dropped a significant amount of weight. I wasn't able to eat. Um, I was severely malnourished and ended up developing an eating disorder because of it. Um, I ended up having a revision surgery. And now I'm fine, I'm healthy, I'm 100% A-OK, -okay, but um, because of my surgery, I started going septic and um, was told that I came very close to death. But wow. I figured that I'd much rather save, uh, I'd much rather die trying to save my life than die giving up and not trying. What? Well, you, you survived and, and, you, and you have had such an incredible um, journey up until now. You're also really honest about your journey online, on Instagram, and you show videos and pictures. You actually showed a video of your loose skin, which you said in a caption was a very difficult thing for you to show because um, it, that took a lot of courage for you to share those. Why was it so important to share that with your followers? Um, because I think that the most important thing is to be real and to show people that um, regardless of how much weight I lose, I still have insecurities and I still face issues because of my loose skin. But as I've said before on my Instagram, I'd much rather have the loose skin than have the weight holding me down. I think that it's so important for people to see every step of weight loss whether you do it naturally or whether you do it through weight loss surgery. And one of the major things that come along with losing a significant amount of weight is the extra skin. And I hold it as a badge of honor now. People ask me, you know, do I plan on having the skin removed? And maybe eventually I'd, I'd like to, but right now it's a reminder of who I was and yeah. who I do not want to be again. Right. So right now I'm, I'm wearing it proudly, <laughs> as proud as I can be, and I'm showing people that it's okay yeah. to not well, be perfect. And, and, you know. and Mary, that takes a lot of courage, and I think uh, I'm sure all of your 54,000 followers and then some um, really appreciate you showing uh, that courage and showing your journey. Thanks, Mary, for, jo for sharing your story with us today. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. And happy birthday, belated. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs>